Now into a developing story. Search underway this morning for the man police say sexually assaulted a woman in the West Village. It happened as she went for a run on a popular path. CBS 2's John Diaz joins us live from the scene with the latest on this. John. Well, Mary, Natalie, you know, a morning run took a terrible turn for a 39-year-old woman. Authorities tell us this all happened just before sunrise on a Sunday morning that the suspect quickly approached her while he was riding on a bicycle and then he attacked. For many, it's hard to think about. I don't like hearing these stories. It's very disconcerting. But the realization is sinking in for the West Village community that even in safer New York neighborhoods, violence can occur. Because like what's going on with like the crime and all of that, I feel like it's very important to like uh, make sure that we're staying safe and looking out for each other. The latest incident to rattle this neighborhood when a 39-year-old woman was sexually assaulted and robbed of her cell phone around 6 in the morning Sunday on the running path near Pier 40. Police releasing these surveillance images. They want everyone to take a close look at them. This is the man wanted for questioning. Police say the suspect knocked the victim down, then choked and sexually assaulted her. As the city grapples with a crushing surge in violence, sex crimes are also on the rise. According to NYPD data, 386 rapes have been reported so far this year. That's a 23% increase in the same time span last year. The category of other sex crimes spiked as well. Those are up 17%. I've always felt really safe or naive, maybe. Kitty Preston told us she can't help but worry about the recent wave of violence, so she's careful about what time of day she goes out by herself. There are more people out later in the day than there are in early morning. Hedge your bets with when are the most people out. And back out here on the Greenway, authorities tell us that the suspect took off on his bicycle. It is believed that he is in his 20s, about 5'9 and 180 pounds. As for the victim here in this case, well, we are told that she was brought to the hospital for bruises and pain. We're live this morning from the West Village. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. All right, thank you, John.